Welcome back to another video on my channel where I upload Webflow tutorials. Today I will show you how to create nice blur gradients inside of Webflow, like this one here. I hope this video will be helpful for you and if that's the case make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. Without any further talking, let's start right away. Alright so I've already set up a project so that we don't have to start from scratch and we can start um, to add these nice blur gradients immediately. The first step will be to add a div block. I'll just add it inside of the padding vertical div here. This menu here, uh, you can open this by click the, by pressing Ctrl and E on your keyboard, at least on Windows. I don't know if the, uh, the same goes for Mac. Then we're just going to add a class of blur shape. You can also go for something like um, or gradient it doesn't really matter it's just up to you and here we're going to style the class so the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to add a gradient and for this gradient here let's just have it like this with this angle here for example and add some gradient stops here okay so I've already added the swatches so that um, I'm faster here so the first one will have this color I'll just set it to 20%, uh, start from 20%, doesn't really matter. Um, you can experiment with the gradient to, and then just have it as you want it to uh, be. So then the second one will be at 40 for example, then the third one I'll just set it to 60%, let me just move it to 60, and then the last one will have this color here and so that's basically um, the gradient. And then also we're going to add the blur. So this is um, at, at the filters here, you can just have blur. And I'll go for a blur of 230 pixels, which is a lot, a lot. You can see here it's, <laughs> it looks really differently after applying the blur. And the opacity will be set to 35%. Again, it's up to you, but I want to have them like not popping out too much. Uh, because the attention should be on the headline, on the image and on the button and not too much on the gradients. They should rather be in the background. So that this is the base class. We're going to work with combo classes so that we don't have to create a new blur shape class for every single blur class that we add. Why do we, would we even need uh, multiple classes? Because uh, positioning them will require us to create new classes and for this reason we're starting from this base blur shape class and then we're going to add combo classes. So I want to have a blur gradient here on the right side and also a blur gradient here on the bottom. So um, the combo class will be is adder right for the right one. And so basically on the combo classes we'll set um, the size in this case it will be 24 rem um, don't get confused by me using rems you can al also use pixel this is just personal preference here and then um, after having the size here you, you should set it to absolute because this is the way we're going to position the gradients and for absolute to work you need a relative parent so basically here the section is set to relative that's why it's this uh, blur shape is now relative to um, the section so you need a relative element doesn't have to be the section but just um, whatever you want and in this case now I'm going to position it by adding by setting this to minus 20 percent and you don't have to use percent you can also use viewport width or other units I'll just use percent for this video and then on the top I will add uh, I'll set it to 10 percent uh, left and right uh, can just be auto because we want to have it as far on this side as we as we can and we can just play around with this value just to see what looks best and then we'll just copy this and paste it inside of the same parent. So now we have this um, two times and I just, I'm just going to duplicate this class. In this case it will be is header left. And the is header left class will just have a width of 20 rem and a height of 20 rem. 
and then the positioning will be auto and alt also auto from the top because we want to have it in the left bottom corner so now we'll just set this to zero percent and same goes for this here zero percent so now it's glued to the left bottom corner and it's 20 rem 20 rem and yeah so that's basically it for this shape too okay so i already finished recording the video but then i remembered that i forgot to mention something and this is to set the z index to minus one why should we set it to minus one because currently there is a little bit of an overlay coming from the blur shape here and by setting it to minus one this won't happen so i forgot to, to mention this in the tutorial itself before but yeah just so that you know it too if you want to make changes for um both blurs at the same time you should you should switch to the blur shape here because on the blur shape um you'll just affect both classes assuming you don't um style settings that are being overwritten by the combo classes clearly so basically here if you want to change the opacity of your gradients um you can just uh, change it here by switching to the blur shape selector or you can also for example adjust the blur that you have so i'm just going to set it back to 230 pixels um yeah and uh, keep in mind that on different devices it will be you you might have to place them differently than on desktop so you might have to override these values here and you also should probably decrease the blur value on mobile devices since the blur is going to look much more there okay so i think that's it for this uh, tutorial at this point um, i hope that you're able to create your own blur shapes now i hope that you can create your own blur gradients now inside of webflow if you think this video was helpful, then please leave a like and also subscribe to my channel. If you have a question related to Webflow or these blur gradients or whatever, uh, just leave the question in the comments, I'll reply. See you soon and have a nice day.